Hi everyone, it's Barry here from Matusi Crafts. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for joining me for this month's Stamp Around UK video hop. The theme for this month is embossing and as you can see on the table right here, I'm going to be playing with the new layered florals 3D embossing folder and I'm also going to be playing with some deckled circles dies and a little bit of heat embossing as well. But the main focus of today's project is going to be the layered florals 3D embossing folder, which I'm just loving this embossing folder at the moment i'm loving its technique i'm just still loving its texture it's yeah it's just a really really nice fun um embossing folder to be using at the moment so i hope you enjoy what i have got in store for you today um as i said this is a video hop so do remember to hop along with everyone else that is doing this so links can be found down below in the description down here um so go along and have a little look at what else they have done as well we're already are using the theme of embossing so yeah, i'm sure you're going to come away with some amazing ideas and techniques after this as well and yeah so sit back relax and enjoy as i show you my version um, of some embossing so what i'm going to be using here is i'm going to be using i'm actually going to be doing a large card today this is very we normally get to do small um a six cards but i had some um card bases lying around which i've had lying around for absolutely ages so i'm going to be using a nice large square card this is a seven by seven inches um, which I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to just prepare that one now. I've missed doing large cards and I found these card bases and I thought, you know what, they're in the cupboard, I'm going to use them. So yeah, I'm going to, but it, this technique which I'm going to be doing, you can do on any size card. So you don't, it doesn't have to be a seven by seven. And the technique is exactly the same for what we're going to be doing. Okay, so a nice large square card. If you're going to be doing a square card, I have got myself two pieces of card here, which is um, one which is 15 by 15 centimeters, which is approximately six inches by six inches. And then this one here, which is 15.3 centimeters by 15.3 centimeters. Um, and that's just one eighth of an inch bigger than the white piece. And that there is just so that there is going to pop a nice mat and layer with a nice big white border on my card base. I've also got myself another small strip here in the grey, and that is going to be for the sentiment, which I'm going to be doing a little bit of heat setting on this. This here is nine millimeters, so about about one centimeter thick, um, by any length at the moment because I'm going to trim it down once I've done my stamping. So, but I, I'm going to stamp directly down onto a piece here which is nine millimeters thick. So, that's what you need if you want to copy this card exactly as I do. Those pieces are right there, but. Before we do anything, what I'm going to do is I am going to do some cutting with the die cutting machine. So I'm going to take my white, basic white piece here and I'm going to grab the deckled circles dies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I think, the eighth largest. Let me just have a little look. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it's the eighth one from the smallest is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to die cut this one here in the centre. Move your machine to one side because you will be using it again in a second. So what we've done is we have got this right here like that. Try and keep it in position because we're going to reseat it back in later on. Okay, and then we are done with our die cutting. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that lovely embossing folder which I mentioned. So this one right here. And I'm going to place both pieces in to this embossing folder. Making sure that they are all lined up and it's exactly the same aperture. And we're going to pop that in like so and make sure that's nice and straight in there close that down and now what i'm going to do is i'm now going to run this through the embossing machine and here we have it you can pop your machine away now because you are actually done with a die cutting and embossing so i've gone and embossed this through there and just look at this just look at how stunning this is. It's an amazing embossing folder. The 3D is just, it's, yeah, it's just beautiful. So that's, that's that. So you've got these two pieces, like so. Okay, you can't really see that too well. I'll just bring that up. You can see it's got some really, really nice detail and some texture on here, which is really good. And then that will then, just need to now make a note of where 
things were okay so just have a little look find out where it is well, I haven't done that so I just need to just now go around and find the correct flowers so that's where it is so make sure you make a note of kind of like what flowers actually match up with each other because it might be a little bit easier later on okay but that there is what we need to do you can go ahead and you can stick the f the outside bit onto your layer right here just have a little think about how you want this to go round um again as long as you haven't don't stick it to your main card base at the moment it doesn't matter at the moment if you've got the wrong orientation because we can flip it around on the card base but if you're sticking the gray bit down then just be aware of that what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab myself some glue and i'm just going to stick this to the card layer um, to the gray layer have it okay so and where did it go is that one there and that one so it's normally this flower here which I'm going to look at to see to get them all lined up okay like that so I'm going to then stick, now that I know what way it is and I'm happy with my flowers, it's more of this flower here which I want to be able to, to see. I'm still not happy that that's lined up correctly, just bear with me one moment. No, it is. It's the way that the light's catching it. Um, so now I'm happy, this is the flower which I want to be the one which is looking the correct way up. Otherwise it's upside down in my opinion on that one there. So it will make sense in a moment. So I'm going to stick that down now, the whole card base, to my piece, knowing that I've got my bits where I want it to be. Now we're going to let, have a little look at this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of colouring. So I'm going to have, I think I'm going to go with some lemon lolly, I think. And I'm just going to now colour these images right here so I'm just going to go through and just gently go over the top and then just color in all of these embossed images okay so I've got lemon lolly to start off with and then I'm going to have some greens and some pinks and some um yeah that's it so the colors I'm going to use I think on this one here maybe some purples but probably more pink than purple so just go ahead and color these in so um, sit back and relax whilst I just do that for you. So there we have it, that's what I've just done there. So you've just watched me colour the embossing folder in or the embossed images in. So it's almost almost like a it's an embossed spotlight technique, I suppose. Um but it's a really great way of you being able to colour and use the embossed lines because you've got this 3D obviously because it's a 3D embossing folder you've got these lines where you can add the shading 
and the texture to it to really help bring it out. So that's what I wanted to do and show you something different, I think, potentially with your embossing folders. And so I'm going to call this like an emboss spotlight technique because this is going to go get put back in here like this. So the colours I used, if you were wondering, was Lemon Lolly. That was what I used for the, for the base with... Um, some orange in the middle there which I use some um, pumpkin pie for the middle of the flowers and then I've used myself some daffodil to light dark to then go around and do the shading the pink flower here is a berry burst light then I've used a bubble bath for the smaller ones and then I've used lemon lime twist for the leaves on the outside here so that's what I've gone and done so if you're wondering, but I just think that's a really, really great technique. Obviously, you're showing this lovely embossing folder off anyway, but you're just spotlighting this detail on here as well. So, and then what we can do is we can then seat this back in. So we know... that It's going to go like so. I can just see, I've just missed a little bit of a... A little bit of a leaf up there, which needs to go out a little bit more that way. Okay, and then that then sits back in like that. So what you can do is you can either do this as seated in flat, or you can pop it onto some dimensionals, if you wish, and then pop that in like so, which I'm going to do here for you. Okay, and then you just want to carefully pop this back in. So again, my head nodes may pop in just ever so slightly as I just position this over. And by doing it on dimensionals as well, you kind of get, you see the grey layer, which is underneath a little bit. You could see the grey layer beforehand, kind of with the die cut. By popping it on dimensionals, it almost looks like it's meant to be there rather than just, well, why has it got a grey line there? Such as why I've popped it on dimensionals. So that there is basically the card. What we need to do now is to finish this off is we need to do a sentiment. So again, as the theme for this month is embossing, I suppose I really needed to do some heat embossing. So I'm just going to grab myself my tools. So that is it. You have everything out ready, and then as soon as you know go to use it, you can't find it. So basically, I've got. I'm going to be using the birthday best birthday wishes. Now this is from the stippled rose stamp set, which is. This one right here, I do like a sentiment which is nice and which has got a, a simple font and is straight because it's easy to cut out. It's just easy to do stuff with. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that. I've got myself some Versamark, which is there. I just want to just grab my embossing buddy and I'm just going to just... Make sure I don't get any sticky fingers on there. Doesn't matter about this end, so I'm going to be holding on to this end here. Just do that. So I'm going to be brave and I'm going to stamp this directly down onto the piece which I want to use. So this is 9mm wide by X amount, doesn't matter how long because we're going to cut it down. But I'm just going to do that. I've got my stamp positioned really well on my block here. So I'm quite happy. But I'm, I'm, going to, I'm just going to have to come in, just get over the top of this a little bit. And then we'll just stamp that down. I've lined it up with the correct distance. I want middle, top, bottom, and one side. Ink that up. Bring over my little um, tidy tray. Bring in my white embossing powder. And pop that on and that's what we've got so I'm going to heat set that in a second just pop that to one side and then this is to get rid of my my powder from my tray so that's it remember everything you're seeing us using can be purchased from us as well and um, so do head over to our website All links can be found down below in the description so that's that so I'm just going to then take this and I'm going to take my heat tool now and I'm just going to heat set this
And then once that is heat set, then I'll just bring in my trimmer. And then just cut off, cut off the other part, this side here, the required distance, which is what I wanted. Okay. And then that there is then going to then go onto my card like that. And then that is done. So we will just do some mini dimensionals on this. And we're going to do it on this side here, making sure that we don't overhang it. So we're going to do that. So we're going to have it hanging off of one side, and then I'm going to stick it directly down onto the other side. And so what I've got here is I have got the adhesive back, backed dragonflies and birds. I think these will work quite nice. These little dragonflies, I think, will work quite nicely on this. And there we have it. That there is my version or my take on a card with emboss, the technique of embossing. So I've, I've shown you how to use your embossing folder in its entirety here. So the whole 6x6 six six embossing folder. We've done a bit of a spotlight technique here, so we've we've taken out the use of the deckled circles to then take out the circle, and then used the colour to really um, highlight that embossing on here, and we've done a little bit of heat embossing as well for the sentiment. So I hope you have enjoyed that. I'm really happy with how that's come out actually. Really enjoying using. I, I like a card with big borders as well, so square cards are um, are perfect for that. And yeah. I hope you have enjoyed what I have done for you today. Um, do remember, um, you can purchase stuff from us at my our online shop. As I said earlier on, links can be found down below in the description or over on our website over here as well. You can go over to matusicrafts.com and head over to our website over there. And also remember that this is a video hop, so links to everyone else's can be found down below in the description as well. So go have a little hop around and see what everyone else has been doing with the theme of embossing. But until next month, um, with the next Stamp Around UK, which will be at the beginning of February, um, thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you again all very soon. Take care for now. Bye-bye.